Corruption. 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 I know many of you who listen to me think that Muslim apologists often lie to save their religion. Today, however, I want to present to you clear proof of edited footage by Muslim apologists from my interview with Bart Ehrman, which they edited, corrupted, in order to make it look like Bart Ehrman agreed with their views. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The clip you just watched was of a video of Ridwan where he accused me of editing his interview with Bart Ehrman. As you saw, Ridwan said that he would show evidences of Muslim apologists corrupting videos. And in response to this, I made three videos exposing Ridwan as the biggest corrupter of videos. If you want to watch these three videos, you can click on the links which appear above. Now you might ask, since I responded to Rudvan, why I'm making this video again? Because today, just today, Rudvan uploaded an edited and corrupted video. In his obsession with Muhammad Hijab, Rudvan uploaded an old clip of Muhammad Hijab debating a Qur'ani. A Quran only Muslim and in that video Ridwan edited and corrupted the whole debate that Muhammad Hijab had with the Quran only Muslim let's watch the video Ridwan uploaded today if you look just at the Quran you will get the indication that you can have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old the reason why it's haram to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old is not found in the Quran at all if you just read the Quran it is halal, it would, just, it would be halal to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. Chapter 65, verse 4. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who you can divorce and who you cannot divorce. And then he says, وَاللَّهِ لَمْ يَحِدْن وَاللَّهِ لَمْ يَحِدْن And the ones who had never been pubescent before. And by the way, this is very important, yeah? I want all Muslims to be aware of this. The reason why we don't have sexual intercourse with five-year-olds and six-year-olds and seven-year-olds or whatever is not because of puberty. Wait a minute, what did you say? It's not because of puberty because that verse in the Quran actually says, Lam yahidn. They never had puberty before. You can't go around that. The Quran doesn't say, doesn't say anywhere in the Quran that the woman has to be pubescent. I dare you to find one verse in the Quran where it says you're not allowed to marry someone based on harm or you're not allowed to have sexual intercourse based on harm or you're not allowed to marry someone based on puberty well, Get me one verse in the Quran which says the woman has to be pubescent no. You know in the Quran no. it says no. It says you're not allowed to marry your mom your It says you're not allowed you're to marry your sister, your auntie Where does it say you're not allowed to marry that a, believes the way that you a pre believe. Okay. I'm looking for one verse that you, you can say you pinpoint it and say this is where it says prepubescent marriage or whatever is not allowed so if you're on Quran alone you're still towards pedophilia and a severe type of pedophilia a wife abuse a severe type of wife abuse but when we say it we are Islamophobic stay away from Islam so as we have seen Ridwan is trying to suggest that Muhammad Hijab is arguing that the Quran teaches that marrying five years old is allowed and this is a complete shameless lie. Let's go and watch the unedited, uncorrupted video. Here is for you right now, yeah? The reason why it's haram to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old is not found in the Quran whatsoever. It's found in the Sunnah and in fact, and in fact, if you look just at the Quran, you will get the indication that you can have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. And I'll tell you why, and I'll give you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm saying this and I'm going to back it up with evidences. Let me repeat my point. We both agree that it's haram and it's wrong to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. Okay, good. My premise today, my thesis today is as follows. The reason why it's haram to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old is not found in the Quran at all, but is in fact found in the Sunnah. Okay, and listen, if you just read the Quran, it is halal, it would, just, it would be halal to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. Tell me how and why. In Surah Al-Talaq, 
chapter 65, verse 4. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who you can divorce and who you cannot divorce. And then he says, Wallahi lam yahidn. Wallahi lam yahidn. And the ones who had never been pubescent before. Let me just finish what I'm saying and then you can come back. In the sunnah, there's a hadith. And by the way, this is very important, yeah? I want all Muslims to be aware of this. The reason why we don't have sexual intercourse with five-year-olds and six-year-olds and seven-year-olds or whatever is not because of puberty. Wait a minute, what did you say? It's not because of puberty because that verse in the Quran actually says, Lam yahidn. They never had puberty before. You can't go around that. The reason why we don't have sexual intercourse with those people is because of harm. The hadith says, La darar wa la dirar. And I said before, the reason why is because of the Sunnah, not because of the Quran. Such a ver la darar means you can't inflict harm to anyone else. So as we have seen, Muhammad Hijab is arguing with a Qurani and he's saying that marrying five and six years old is wrong. But what he is arguing is that if you are only focusing on the Quran and you are ignoring the Sunnah, ignoring the Hadith and the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, you might get into a conclusion that marrying five years old is allowed. That doesn't mean that the Quran teaches that marrying five years old is allowed because one of the main teaching of the Quran is that you have to follow the Prophet Muhammad You have to obey the Prophet Muhammad You can't take the Quran and read it literally and then start acting based on your literal understanding of the Quran. And definitely you can't ignore the Prophet ﷺ hadith because it is central to the message of the Quran and the message of Islam. That was Muhammad Hijab's argument. But Ridwan, as the biggest deceiver that he is, made it look like Muhammad Hijab was explaining the teaching, the actual teaching of the Quran. And this is the same guy who last month cried about my editing of the interview he had with Bart Ehrman even though I refuted his silly accusation against me and I showed how I didn't corrupt his interview with Bart Ehrman and you can click on the link which appears above in order to see how I refuted his silly accusation so this is the same man who said he would expose the Muslim apologist for editing and corrupting videos here he is today, today, uploading an edited and corrupted video. And here is my message to you, Redvan. When the detective is watching you, don't dream of deceiving your gullible fans with these silly edited videos. And to everyone who's watching, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video. Share the video so that everyone knows the truth of this ignorant individual. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.